and they don't have I, I I don't know they didn't they didn't evolve into the digital age. Sky Mall was like this trusted resource for buying ridiculous crap. If they'd gotten out in front of it and started the appropriate website and the appropriate app at the appropriate time, Sky Mall could be you know a thing, a force to be reckoned with. They could have been the next Amazon, or they could have been the first Amazon. Surprising. The Sky Mall hasn't worked out. Surprising to me because I use my AM radio ice cream scoop foot massager all the time. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh, and it leaves us with a burning question. Like, now where am I going to get a solar-powered nose hair trimmer? Okay. That, that store in the mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, as seen on TV store. So... Dumbasses act like they didn't know smashing their heads on chairs was probably bad for their brain. Two ex-WWE wrestlers have sued over brain injuries. Call me crazy. But to me, it kind of sounds like common sense that hitting your head repeatedly is probably not good for your brain. I'm no neuroscientist. I, I, I'm no biologist. I know nothing about the inner workings of the human brain whatsoever. But I have enough common sense to know that if you hit yourself in the head repeatedly with a steel chair... No matter how fake and no matter how much the punches are being pulled, so to speak, you're still hitting your head with a chair. And that can't be all that freaking great. Anyways, it should come as no surprise then that playing football and boxing and fake pro wrestling comes with long-term costs. Ask anybody. Ask anyone you know to take a metal folding chair to the noggin. And I bet the majority of people you asked would say, no, why not? Well, can't be good for you. It's probably not good for your brain. So just like former NFL players have done, two former WWE wrestlers, they're suing the company for forcing them to take risks it knew could permanently affect their well-being while offering them no health or disability insurance. Now, that's the thing with the WWE. People don't realize it. I have a couple friends that wrestled for the WWE and I was like what was it like they're like oh it's terrible you get paid nothing there's no benefits no health insurance no anything and you, it's just yeah no it, it's bad news when you're starting out you do have uh, if you manage to climb the ladder of WWE success a couple of great years before you die at age 45 from you know something that a heart attack from having popped too many pills or taking too many anabolic substances and, and, and having your heart give out on you because you wanted those couple of years of glory. But, yeah, these guys take real risks with their bodies. And when they first start out, they don't get anything in return. They really don't. Like, it, it's it's weird to think that something as huge as a WWE could have part-time wrestlers. But I think they're paid, you know, on a part-time basis. They've got to get themselves from town to town to be on the tour, and, and they're paid for whatever matches they're in. And they don't have health insurance. They don't have all these things. That said, these are risks that they kind of know going in. But, uh, yeah. So, just like former NFL players have done two former WWE wrestlers, they're suing the company for forcing them to take risks that it knew could permanently affect their well-being while offering them no health or disability insurance. Former wrestlers Skull Von Crush ironically, and Adam Mercer, they both say that they're suffering from brain damage, which stems from their days in the ring. They're going after unspecified monetary damages and medical monitoring. They also allege that 13 wrestlers committed suicide over 10 years and that at least two WWE performers were found after their deaths to have brain decay. This brain decay is known as chronic traumatic encephal... encephal hold on. Let, uh, let. <laughs> not a doctor and cephalopathy so basically if you get hit in the head with a steel chair it's going to take a toll you should be aware of that going into the situation if you're warned we'll be back tomorrow we'll do this all over again thrilling i know hey thank you so much for hanging out being part of my radio family you rule <laughs> <laughs>